Hey guys, this is Zach Desjardins, and I'm here at the Solder Well headquarters, and I want to show you a few products. Cinema. So I've got alloy saw here. This is their flagship rod for any aluminum repair. It works in conjunction with the alloy saw flux. Now, to be honest with you guys, I've only done a handful of different repairs on aluminum coils. This is something new coming into the market. But I will say, once I did one or two repairs, I was blown away on how easy it is to use this product. Let me show you how we can do that. Now, because this is a soldering rod and it melts at 600 degrees, we could use something as easy as a map gas torch here. We don't have to use something like the oxyselling torch. Now with aluminum, this can melt through at roughly 1200 degrees. So we don't wanna get anywhere near that temperature to fix the repair. That just makes me feel a whole lot more comfortable at a lower heat. If you guys are anything like me, I'm a little apprehensive when it comes to heating up aluminum because it's so thin, I'm worried I'm just gonna blow a hole right through it. Now that's where the flux comes in handy. Now. It applies a white chalky film, and then when it heats to that 600 degrees, right where you want it to be, it turns clear, and that's when you know you can apply your rod. Not only does this flux help you out in determining when you can apply the rod, but it also cleans and preps the work area so you can make sure you get a good tight bond. So the first thing you wanna do is heat the end of the rod, and then dip it down into the flux and get a good buildup of the flux onto the rod. Then what you wanna do before you actually heat up the joint that you're gonna be working on or the repair itself, you want to melt the flux onto the site that you're gonna be repairing. And then you can start slowly heating up the area until you see that flux go from a white to a clear. And again, when it's clear, you are ready to apply the rod. Now, one thing you wanna make sure is you don't poke the rod into the surface area that you're gonna be working on. You wanna lightly lay the rod onto the hole and then let it melt over and you'll get a nice clean bond. All right, so as you can see, I was able to make this repair without disturbing any other joints in the area. So not causing me to have to create more repairs or even a callback in the future. So I wanna stress that these types of repairs is very important. As we go into the future, in this industry, you're gonna see more and more of aluminum repairs that need to be done. So I highly suggest you guys pick up these rods, learn this technique, because I guarantee you, you're gonna need it in the future. <laughs>